In 2010, some suspicious parcels coming from West Asia drew the attention of the United States Customs, and inspections revealed that they were antiques smuggled out of Iraq via Israel and Turkey. The recipient of the antiques was Hoppy Lobby, an American chain of retail arts and crafts stories that employs 32,000 people in 47 states. The US Department of Justice investigated further and found that the company had bought more than 5,000 artifacts from Iraq. None other than the company's president Steve Green was reported to have traveled to the United Arab Emirates to inspect the goods worth around $1.6 million. The Justice Department found that the shipment followed typical smuggling strategies in order to avoid customs attention. The artifacts were sent from multiple locations. They were shipped to different places. They were small in lots and bore labels providing wrong information. Hobby Lobby never met the actual dealers and paid the money into seven undisclosed bank accounts of West Asian individuals. Almost every artifact coming from West Asia, in particular from Iraq and Syria, had been looted and smuggled out. Since the 90s, hundreds of thousands of antiques from these countries ended up on the black market. Clearly, a rich criminal enterprise is underway. The money is suspected to have enriched one of the many jihadi and terrorist groups active in the region. According to the University of Chicago, this is how the Islamic State has earned millions of dollars which has helped fund its activities. There is no evidence yet that Hobby Lobby's money ended up actually in terrorist hands, but the risk is very high. It is also curious to note that the company did not disclose the name of the beneficiary accounts holders leaving investigators in a blind spot. The company published a statement admitting its fault. We were new to the world of acquiring these items and did not fully appreciate the complexities of the acquisitions process. This resulted in some regrettable mistakes. The company imprudently relied on dealers and shippers who, in hindsight, did not understand the correct way to document and ship these items. If it was a genuine mistake, Hobby Lobby has paid a steep price for it, not to mention giving life to criminal networks in West Asia. Bureau Report, Beyond.